Welcome to What Will Jason Do? Episode 2. Today I'll be talking about the choices that you have of eating junk food or healthy food. Now I'm, I'm probably like the majority of people out there. I get it. I was in your shoes. I was that kid growing up who was too fat to play pop Warner football. That's why I never got into it. Okay, so I, I totally understand what most of you are going through. I never did go to my senior prime because I didn't have a date. You know? It's those things where you feel self-conscious about yourself and you don't know what to do and you just end up eating more. I get it. But you don't have to be there. You have choices that you can make every single day. Every single meal, you have choices of what you put in your mouth, of how you spend your free time. You could be exercising. So I want you to realize that, yeah, you, you may have seen my progress over the years, over the last few months, but you know, I was never like that. I would never grow up that way. You know, sure, our mom would cook us healthy meals, but obviously, you know, we're kids. We're gonna eat our junk food, our candy, our snacks, our cookies, our chips, whatever, right? So it's just part of being a kid. I was never genetically like that. I never did have abs showing. I swear, I kid you not. I thought I'd never have abs. Like, that's how it was. You know? What I did initially was figure out what kind of foods I like to eat. Okay, I started the, the morning with running. Running around the neighborhood. You know, didn't have a gym membership back then. Just spent, spent an hour running around the neighborhood. Got home. I know it's not good, but I had the top ramen without the package, just the noodles. You know, I ate that as my carb source. Throughout the day, I had about two liters of uh, about two liters of, of uh, oolong tea to help with uh, cleansing my body out. I did a lot of beans, um, anything from garbanzo beans to black beans to pinto beans. I did a lot of uh, chicken, ground beef. Salads, you know, obviously I, I did lose weight. My cardio got a lot better because I tried it for the basketball team in high school. But the idea is making healthier decisions, making conscientious decisions about what you put in your body. So what I want you to take away from today is that even though you might feel like you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, you don't know who to talk to because you're stuck in the same bad habits that you've developed over the years, realize that I was once in your shoes. I was the majority of you out there. Maybe I'm not even the majority. Maybe maybe I'm the lower population where you have to go through these things. I was self-conscious about my body majority of, like from middle school all the way through high school. So what I want you to do today is to start making healthier food decisions for yourself. Ask me any questions, leave me a comment, share this video, please. Anything that will help people out.